Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're just going to do a kind of a simple Beatles update. I got some 45s, some LPs, and I got a book as well. Uh, as stated in my previous video, I went out of town to visit some relatives and um, I was going to stop by some record stores. But I'm still sorting everything out because I got a lot. Um, also I got a surprise. Um, one of my relatives had a... Um, a former DJ in the family, and they were getting rid of some records, so I got a, a lot of records, a lot of 45s for free, so I'm still going through all those and sorting it out so I can make the video and show you what I got. But that'll be a story for the next video. Today, we're just going to go through some antique record store finds and some uh, purchases through eBay as well, but um, I want to start off with the book first. This is The Beatles on Record, and this book is pretty interesting because it just goes through pretty much their whole catalog and tells you what songs, or what uh, instruments, who plays on what song, or who sings on what song, who plays what instrument on each song, and just kind of some notes on the song in general. And it goes through... About, I think this was like in 1982. So, it's pretty interesting. I thought it was an interesting book. Because sometimes I always kind of wonder who plays what instrument. And now I can know. Pretty easy to look up. Alright, so. I'm going to start with the 45s next. And the first one we got is from Japan. This is She Loves You, Back With I'll Get You on the black Odeon label here and it also got a gatefold with the Japanese lyrics and English lyrics there's the back as well with the uh, Toshiba Records inner sleeve Next up, we got one from the Netherlands, released in 1964. This is The Beatles' A Hard Day's Night, with Things She Said Today. Things We Said Today. And uh, this is a really nice shape. And it's on a nice black, old-style Parlophone label. And the next one is also going to be from the Netherlands. I found these on eBay from the same seller. And I thought it was a good price for both of them. So I kind of picked up these two. This is Help with I'm Down. Again, in pretty good shape. And again, on the black old school Parlophone label. And uh, this is the uh, kind of the mustardy yellow color picture sleeve and there's also a orange version as well all right next up we got a pretty pretty cool one from South Africa this is revolution with hey Jude in South Africa I believe they had revolution as the a side and hey Jude as the B side for whatever reason and it's on the parlophone label and this record was also released in the um, 2019 Beatles Singles box set, but uh, this is the original one, so that's pretty cool. Alright, next up we got something with Come Together from Portugal, released in 1969. And here's what the back looks like. And this is on a pretty cool, interesting Parlophone label. And here's the other side. So happy to pick those up. Pretty interesting picture sleeves from around the world. But that's what I kind of like to collect. And that will do it for the 45s. And now we're going to go to the LPs. We got about, let's see, we got about five records here. And 
I'll show the first three are from antique stores that I found. Alright, so next we got Thoroughly Beetles. And this is going to be a 1973 pressing on the Apple label. Uh, the record itself is not in the best of shape, but I got it for pretty cheap, and it was a uh, just a different pressing. Uh, I have an original pressing, so I was looking for later pressings. So this is also a Winchester press as well. Okay. Same vendor, we got the Beatles Yell Submarine. There we go. Again, not in the best of shape. Um, this is a 1971 pressing on the Apple label. It says Jacksonville Press. That's what the back looks like. And here's the B side. And I was kind of surprised to see that on Discogs, it had pretty good value. Um, I don't really know why. It's a reissue of the El Submarine album. Um, now, of course, it is in pretty rough shape, so it probably doesn't have too much value. But anyway, again, a different pressing that I thought was interesting. So we go from kind of the worst kind of conditions to one of the best conditions. We got wings, wings at a speed of sound, in the shrink wrap with the hype sticker. So let's get close up on the hype sticker there and I already had this copy this is an upgrade copy as you can tell it's in the shrink the um, records in really nice shape had the insert and this is from 1976 US pressing specifically from the Winchester pre uh, pressing plant there's the label Glad I got a nice copy of this album. And that'll pretty much wrap that up for the antique store finds. Um, next one I got from eBay. Well, this one's kind of store related. I got this from my local record store, sticking with Paul McCartney. I got the um, 50th anniversary reissue RAM. There you go gonna keep it in the shrink wrap um, I'm not gonna show you the, the gate fold I'm sure you've seen this a good bit I'm a little bit late on showing it but there's the back uh, again with the cardboard thick paper inner sleeve Nothing on the back uh, I played this and it sounded really good Unfortunately, on side two, Heart of the Country, the first song, there were some skips on it, and I was trying to see where they were coming from, but I couldn't really see anything. I'm going to try to clean it a little bit more and see if that'll help, but I hope that kind of clears up, because I don't really want any <laughs> skipping off a brand new record, so I'll keep you updated with that one, see if... It gets any better. Anyway, last find of this Beatles update is Beatles Rubber Soul. As you can see by the bottom here, it's on the Odeon label. And this particular pressing is from France. This is a original 1965 copy on the orange Odeon label, which is really cool looking. And there's the other side. So I thought it was just a pretty cool pressing and cool label to have. The cover is in pretty rough shape. It's got some wear and a little bit of tear on the cover there, right there, but the back looks pretty good and the record plays fine. Again, pretty interesting pressing. 
and I thought the label was pretty cool, so I picked it up. So that pretty much does it for this neck for this Beatles uh, update. And the next video, hopefully, I can get everything sorted out from all my uh, record store finds out of state. And um, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.